I enjoy publishing old photographs on YouTube as a part of my personal effort to give memory to the faces lost in time. These are photographs no longer wanted by a family. Maybe the descendants don't know who they are and decide to let the photos go, or maybe there are no more descendants. Without a living memory, it's almost like a person never existed. These people did exist, and they mattered to each other. They held a family reunion in 1924 somewhere in the hills. Maybe it's Tennessee where I live and where I acquired this photograph, but I have no way of knowing for sure. To me, it's almost miraculous that we can observe this fleeting moment from a single summer afternoon nearly 98 years ago. This is a small print on glossy gelatin silver fiber-based paper. There's cellophane tape on the corners and fingerprints scattered across the front. Are they the fingerprints of someone in the photo? Maybe. They're all squinting. It was taken midday. The sunlight is almost directly overhead. I enjoy the fact that that last chair on the right is reserved for holding the hat of the old man. On the back of the photograph, written in blue ballpoint ink, is the following inscription. Five generations. Mama, Nell, Jerry, Grandpa, Great Grandfather. Reunion, August 1924. The pencil notations were made by the seller. We can see from the tape on the back that it was kept in one of those old photo albums with black paper pages. The back is also marked with uh, many yellow stains and I don't know if that's maybe from bad washing in the dark room or maybe it's from something else. As I said, this photograph was taken almost 100 years ago in August 1924, so I thought it might be fun to look back in history and see what was going on in America and in the world in 1924. Most popular song in August 1924 was What'll I Do by Paul Whiteman. In August 1924, the Allied powers were working to finalize war reparation plans for Germany after the end of World War I. The Little Orphan Annie comic strip was published for the first time in August 1924. U.S. President Calvin Coolidge formally accepted the nomination to run for a second term as President of the United States. An Old West outlaw named Roy Darty, age 54, who was a member of the Wild Bunch gang, was killed in a gunfight with Lawman in 1924, if you can believe that. Famous attorney Clarence Darrow presented his closing arguments in the notorious Leopold and Loeb murder case. The movie Wine, starring Clara Bow, was released. And in August 1924, Writer James Baldwin and actors Carol O'Connor and Buddy Hackett were born. Well, thank you very much for spending this time with me, just recognizing these faces from the past, just ordinary people having an ordinary day. Be sure to visit my website at keithdodson.com.